Deja vu. Your feeling, 1759, the painting of a young girl crying by a river, her clothes immaculate and pristine. Oh, what up? Hmm. Central sunlight penetrates the windows, casting its warmth onto the corridor. Enigma, 1803, a single red flower in full bloom put to rest upon a dark surface. A lustrous candle holder rests in the corner awaiting dusk. Oh. Various finished maid's dresses hang from their mannequins. White mannequin stands covered in a flight fabric. Charm. Assortment of all kinds of colorful threads lies stored away on a wooden display. A wooden boxes lay empty in the corner, put to sleep under a light sheet of dust. An oak spinning wheel still carrying its old sharpened spindle. I cannot go back out. Okay then. Ah, and Joe. Joe? Time, and Joe. Come now. Time for us to be reunited. Hmm. Oh, and gel. I can't believe we're finally together. And gel? What's the matter? You don't look so good. It's just... I'm happy to see you. Gel. Everything is fine now. You're safe with me. I'm so glad you're really here. Yes, I am. I'll always be with you from now on, and nothing will tear us apart. I can promise you that. Thank you, Angel. Well then, let's go. Yes. Ah. Lucian. Will we really be able to get out of here? What? Of course we will. You don't trust me very much, do you? I do. I do, but it's hard. I understand that, Joe. It's all right. Joe, I'm sorry. Hmm? What? I trust you. I don't want you to think I don't. There's no need to worry about such a thing, Angel. I know how you feel. Fine, Angel. I promise you we'll make it out of here together, all right? Yes. Will we really be able to get out of here? What? Of course we will. Oh, I think it repeats. Yep, it repeats. Okay, only two things. Giant mirror. How about going back? Nothing. All right. Hmm. 
These are the mirrors I used to reach you. Really? Yes. I was so scared for you, Angel. I kept wondering if you would be alright, or if I would get to see you again. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel that way. Oh, that's fine. I'm just glad you made it. I couldn't have done it without you, Angel. If it hadn't been for you, I... Thank you. Here, let's hold hands. Angel. Yes, let's. Hmm. this? This wasn't here before. It wasn't? No, but it's fine. We're together now. There's nothing to fear. Is that right, Angel? Yes. You don't look too convinced. I'm sorry, Angel. That's right, I understand. Everything still isn't that clear, is it? It's confusing. I know, my dear Angel. Let's have a talk. How about that? All right. You must have a lot in your mind. I'm just confused, that's all. I can tell you more about myself in this place if you'd like. Actually, I have a few questions. Go ahead, Angel. Ooh. Who are we? You said we were the same person, but who are we? That's... I don't know how to answer that question. Last thing I remember was waking up in a strange room. All I had was a mirror and a chair. I remember hearing your voice, and next thing I knew, I saw your image in the mirror. I tried to reach out to you, but I couldn't. From then on, I just... watched you until I was able to reach out to you again. I see. I guess we're the same. The same? Yes. I also woke up in that empty room, not knowing what to do. And I... I just wish I had met you sooner. Angel, everything is fine. We're finally together now, right? You're right. What we have to do now is look for a way out of here. I've been walking about, but I haven't found anything yet. But I'm sure we'll be able to find the exit together. I hope so. That won't do, Angel. You should smile more. That's... I know it's hard to do right now, but we have to stay positive, right? A smile. I'll smile right along with you. Angel, you're right. Good girl. Purgatorium. Hmm. Alright, so nothing new. I didn't know there were pumpkins here, too. Oh, yes. What about them? They're just pumpkins. We very much like to talk. How come you never talked to me before? Why don't you talk to pretty girls? Hmm, is that so? Come now, Angel. Ah, yes. Now there's a really pretty girl. Who, me? Let's go. Okay, then. Those pumpkins don't know how to keep their mouth shut, do they? I'm sure it was just a joke, Angel. Even if it was just a joke, I don't like them. Hmm. Anyway, let's go. Yes, let's. Nope. You don't have time to go back. 
gonna keep trying though. Fine. This is strange. The matter, Angel. This wasn't here before, this long carpet. What do you mean? It's as if the space changed while we weren't looking. What do we do now? I think it's best if we keep going. That's what you've been doing until you found me, isn't it? Yes. Here, hold my hand. It's less scary this way, right? Yes. Going back. Eh, <laughs> I can say no. Yep, nothing. Okay, fine. No. Hmm. What's this? Was this here before? No, no, it wasn't. Uh oh. Joe, it's us. I know. It's probably him. Huh? Him? Do you mean... It's him. Maybe it's best if we go back. Oh. What was that? I don't know. Hmm. Goldie Lugan. It completely changed. Him. Him? I'll explain it to you later. Let's go. What's the matter, Angel? I'm scared. But if it's with you, then. Angel, thank you. Here, hold my hand. Yes. Okay, so same. No new dialogue yet. I can't go back. Hmm. Orange, blue, green, green. Gold, blue, red. Orange, blue, green, green, gold, blue, orange. Huh? What's going on? Let's just hurry. Orange. Oh, wait, that was red, I think. Green. Green. Blue. Oh. Pick the wrong ones. Okay. You pick the wrong one and you fall. Okay then. In. Okay, so there's a gold. All right. So red, blue, green, green, gold. Red. Blue. Green. Green. Gold. And blue red. Blue. Aha! We made it! We did! 
Come now, let's get away from here. And Joe, can I ask you something? Of course, go ahead. What were you talking about earlier? That's... that's something I'd rather not talk about. You see, Angel, I want to protect you. You're the purest part of me and eventually we'll become one. I just think it's better if you don't know. But, please, Angel. Alright. Thank you. Everything I'm doing is for our own good. Yes, Angel. I will always be here for you from now on. You will be able to rest soon, all right? Yes. Six. Hmm. That's me. It's him again. Oh. Oh. That's not good. Let's go, we can't stay here. Wait, Joe. Oh. Changed. It's still going. What's that? And Joe, I want you to promise me something. What is it? I want you to promise me you won't fall for his tricks no matter what. Yes, I promise you. Thank you, Angel. Come now, we have to keep going. Still no change in dialogue. Cross. Hmm. Oh. What is that? Enough. This is the last time that fiend will dare mock me. Gel? Gel? Need a bit of time to think about what just happened. Hmm. I'm going on ahead. And Gel? Hmm. Oh? Path? Hmm. Maybe I should give her some time. It'll be fine. It is. this. The deepest of secrets lies in the darkest of places, or so I would say. Fortunately, this isn't the darkest of all places. Nor is the deepest of all secrets. 
Drop of gold as the means to collect the most amazing deed. Gleaming desire for a chance at happiness. Sights of gestures and maiden seemingly fragile steps. An ephemeral golden mirage. Accompanied by the purest binding will to live. This is the gift I give to you, Angel. Angel. This is your name, and this... This is a mirror. aren't you? Hmm. How does it feel to be... be... This is your gift for me? <laughs> Why, yes it is. Aren't I generous? <laughs> However, there is more than meets the eye when it comes to living, my dear daughter. Oh? What do you mean? <laughs> Happiness, strife, blissful tears, and tearing regret. Regardless of the form of life you are, be it human, an angel, or a questionable poet. Living, my girl, comes with an array of deep emotions and an overwhelming sense of fulfillment. Are you curious? Curious about what? About what it's like to strive. That thing you most desire. What should be lost? Such a shame, isn't it? There's no need to be so dramatic, Angel. You want it back? Your chance of happiness? <laughs> there is only one way for you to regain what once was yours, and that is. Oh. You understand, my girl? Hmm. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Pretty eager, aren't you? You... Hmm. There's no need to be ashamed, Angel. Or have this. I understand your urgency better than you may imagine, but you know, my girl. But things tend to come to those who wait. <laughs> Believe me, I've been here for a long while despite my appearance. How do I get that mirror back? <laughs> Tell me. I suggest you start by shutting that mouth of yours, my dear daughter. Oh my. Where did you go? Hmm. That fiend tricked me. I'll show him. Say, she's missing a finger, isn't she? Yep. I can't get back like this. Where am I? Hmm. It's her. Where is she? A place you can't yet reach, it seems. What do you mean? You mean what I meant, my dear Angel? <laughs> Be patient for now. You do want that pocket mirror, don't you? It really has the power you say it has. <laughs> Let's hope it does.
If only I could attend such a fancy party. Don't make such an expression now, dearie. I may be a bit of a bully, but I certainly don't lie. May I ask you something? Oh? Can I really? Become like her? the Mengel. Only you could attain that pocket mirror of hers. Who's that girl next to her? Focus on what matters, my dear. I know what I want. There's no need for you to remind me. <laughs> Quite impertinent, aren't you? Seems there is no need for me to take my time with you. May I ask you a question? Oh, my poor, poor Angel. So many questions, but such little time. What's in it for you? Now that is a long story. All I want is to help my beloved daughter attain the freedom she wishes for. What else could there be in it for me other than my dear Angel's unconditional love? Fair trade, my girl. I give you my word, you will be free as soon as you attain that toy of yours. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Ah, so what? Fleta? What's that? Repay. That's a lot of order. Uh, queen? The little Lamontor's playing house. How charming. Hmm. <laughs> Read, my girl. It's a double-edged sword. However, the same doesn't apply to you. I have you on my side. Now that you do. Hmm. You may consider this a present from me, my dear Angel. Hmm. I have high expectations for you, my dear Angel. <laughs> hmm. Finally, come to me. Ah, that's how it happens. Hmm. Can't be. I have to talk to Angel. Oh. Angel! There you are. I was worried about you, Angel. Actually, there's something I wanted to ask you. I know, Angel. I know what you're going to say. Angel, what happened to you? I want to ask you the same thing. I'm sorry about earlier. I'm... I'm scared, Angel. 
tricked you, hasn't he? And Joe, listen. No. I can't believe you let him fool you. After all he did for you. This isn't fair, Injo. I'm still confused, I... I know I'm confused too, Injo. That's why we need to stick together. If you let him deceive us, then... I believe you, Injo. You don't know us the way I do, Injo. I can fix us, but only if you give me the pocket mirror. Fix us? Make us whole again. You don't have to feel lost and confused ever again, Injo. Neither of us will. Joe, I trust you and Joe. We can be together now, right? <laughs> and Joe? I can't believe how easy you've made it for me. What? Oh, enough of that, Missy. Fed it with your constant whining. Uh oh. <laughs> I won. I got the pocket mirror. No, no, Anjo. Give him back, please. Silence. Anjo. Silence, I say. No. Oh, you need to give me back. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. My pot get mirror. This is it. I get to live. I will live. Well done, Angel. You fiend, you betrayed me. Yeah. Me? I don't recall ever doing such a thing. You can't fool me now. I'm not handing it to you. The pocket mirror is mine. Hmm. Who are you? I think this is all you amounted to. I don't care who you are. I've earned my right. So how is it going to be, Angel? I'm not handing it over to you, fiend. This pocket mirror is mine. Hmm. This is my very own chance at... Happiness. Oh. Ooh, that was close, huh? Looks aside, you did betray her. Hmm. What do you say we should do with this silly thing, Henry? Oh. More importantly, wouldn't it be a waste to leave her like this? Yeah. Rather nice, aren't you? We have to work on that attitude of yours. She did get you the mirror, might as well keep her. Even if just as a souvenir. Creative, aren't you, Henry? Becoming a golden girl does suit this daughter of mine, that's true. A special beautiful being bathed in gold from head to toe. Those once lost to deadly desire and ambition have a different taste to them, don't they? It's more beautiful than your own collection of servants. Don't worry, Angel. You will get to live. It's part of my very own herd of lost souls, that's it. Secret ending, Shattered Delusion. Hmm.